After months of winding through the courts, the so-called watered-down revised version of President Donald Trump's fiercely litigated travel ban officially took effect this evening. Reporter Zach Rickens looks into how the bill will affect the refugee center right here in Twin Falls. Ibrahim was relocated to Twin Falls about five years ago. My country is a small country, but from Eritrea. His wife and two daughters will be the last family relocated to Twin Falls for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. He doesn't share the same feelings about President Trump's travel ban. All we do is win, win, win. Which takes effect Thursday night. I'm angry. Yeah. Uh, I started from refugee, uh, two years or something uh, is process, but uh, I'm angry. The Supreme Court Monday allowed parts of President Trump's travel ban to go into effect, a partial victory for the administration. As for the CSI Refugee Center... We don't know what would happen for next year's uh, fiscal year. We're still waiting um, uh, to see uh, the decisions that will come from our federal partners. Seize says the pause in resettlement will give the refugee center more time to help those already here. We have refugees that need our services. So right, right at this moment, uh, what we're thinking about is just to focus on providing the best services that we can to the refugees that are here um, and uh, wait to see what happens after uh, the one, uh, one, 120 days uh, of, uh, of the suspension of this, the program. In Twin Falls, Zach Rickens, KMBT Local 11 News.